But frankly, you know, I think we need to find, and, and we've dealt with this before. I, I lived in, uh, in Miami. I was a migrant, an immigrant in Miami in the 80s. You all remember when we had the Marielle boat lift. Yes. 125,000 Cubans yeah. came in a matter of six months. It puts tremendous stress on, on, on a city, on a community, on the social services. They need to be resettled elsewhere. They, they, right? need, to they need to be out. We're this right, massive yeah. country. this city around in 20 months and then what happened started with a madman down in Texas decided he wanted to bust people up to New York City hundred and ten thousand migrants we have to feed clothe, house educate the children wash their laundry sheets give them everything they need health care and this team here, we stated, let's do everything possible before we have to push it out into neighborhoods and communities. Month after month, I stood up and I said, this is going to come to a neighborhood near you. Never in my life have I had a problem that I did not see an ending to. I don't see an ending to this. I don't see an ending to this. This issue will destroy New York City destroy New York City. We're getting 10,000 migrants a month. One time we were just getting Venezuela. Now we're getting Ecuador. Now we're getting Russian speaking coming through Mexico. Now we're getting uh, Western Africa. Now we're getting people from all over the globe have made their minds up that they're gonna come through the southern part of the border and come into New York City. All of us are going to be impacted by this. I said it last year when we had 15,000, and I'm telling you now, with 110,000, the city we knew, we're about to lose. It's only going to get worse with global warming and climate change because people can't live in certain parts of this world. Well,